This thrilling adventure brings us to Yosemite National Park. Come along with us as we explore all the natural beauty that Yosemite has to offer. Welcome to Sterling Adventures. We are Mike and Christine, two early retirees who are getting out in our RV to seek out new adventures. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to subscribe to catch our next Sterling Adventure. Welcome back to Sterling Adventures. We are in Yosemite. We spent uh, one night at a harvest host called Clinker Brick in Lodi on our way here. We had such a great time. That is a great harvest host. We parked the RV right next to a vineyard and the tasting was really great and uh, had a really nice time. We had the place all to ourselves. Yeah, nice and quiet. <laughs> now we're on the valley floor of Yosemite. We're going to go on a hike. Uh, it's a four mile hike up to Inspiration Point. So there's probably going to be some amazing views there. We're also going to take a ride on our bikes. We brought our bikes. So we're basically going to spend the whole day in Yosemite Valley exploring some of the things. It's spring right now and it's an amazing time to come to Yosemite because there are waterfalls everywhere you look and the wildflowers are in bloom so pretty spectacular. We are yeah, yeah going to see some of the beautiful sights and show you some of them along the way. So four mile trail goes all the way up to Glacier Point and Sentinel Dome, but we're just probably going to turn around at the three mile mark and do a six miler. But who knows, maybe we'll do more. So on this trail, there's a series of switchbacks, but we get little peekaboo views of El Cap and Yosemite Falls. It's all uphill. When you think the sun's you've hitting it just great, right, yeah, this is an even more beautiful view. So there's lower Yosemite Falls and then upper Yosemite Falls. We hiked it, gosh, during COVID, I think 2020 ish. We probably and got we, three quarters of the way, yeah, we got to like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, three quarters of the way. Okay, now this is the best one of Yosemite Falls. <laughs> all right, we are about three miles in. It's been all uphill, still going. How you doing back there? I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Well, not with that attitude. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. <laughs> yes, you are. I can do this. We're almost to the top. Lots and lots of switchbacks, but it's a uh, we're hike, hiking at altitude, so it's a. Uh, but the gosh, the views have been stunning. Here's the switchbacks we've been going on. The trail was closed at about three miles in, but we couldn't have asked for a better place to stop. Well, we're headed back down from this hike. What an amazing hike with beautiful views the whole way. It's a little bit tough. It's, we made it three miles up and it was all uphill, but man, this reward, so worth it. Well, we 
just finished that amazing hike up four mile trail. It ended up being three mile trail because uh, the road or the trail was closed because of bad conditions. Yeah. So we just had a little lunch. We were, have this beautiful view. And in true Sterling fashion, we are going to do activity number two, which is we're going to get on our bikes and go explore. It's a really great way to get around and see all the sites. You can pull over whenever you want and you've got, you know, beautiful vistas up ahead of you and all around. So the traffic's not bad. Yeah, right now the traffic's not bad at all. And it's during the week, so there's not as many people and it's not as crazy. So we'll be able to capture some of those iconic views of all the things. Half Dome, El Cap, all the things. the best viewing area in all of Yosemite Valley. That's Yosemite Falls and look what is over there. Half Dome. Woo Yosemite and now we have parked over by El Capitan. We are going to have a little snack and use the binoculars to see if we see anyone climbing. There's a great meadow right here. There's a lot of people already here viewing. So perfect little spot. Well, I think this is a great way to end the day. We had a fabulous day in Yosemite. Looking up at El Cap, we can see several climbers up there. It's so cool, we brought our binoculars. Yeah, so we're checking it out and then we're gonna head back home. Oh yeah, and having a little happy hour here. <laughs> After that great day, we headed back to Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails, which is where we were camping. This is one of our favorite Thousand Trails. It is 10 minutes from the entrance to Yosemite and about an hour from the valley floor. The south fork of the Tuolumne River runs right through the park and we were lucky enough to get a site right next to it. There are lots of places to relax and the new lodge has been beautifully remodeled. They even bring in music on the weekend. It's our second time at Yosemite Lakes and we are so lucky to again get another great site right by the river. And there are two families of geese that come. This one has six little babies. Good morning everyone, this is Hank coming to you from the beautiful Yosemite Lakes RV Park. The weather this week is going to be perfect for all of your outdoor activities, with highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s, so get out there and enjoy the week.
Good morning, everyone. It's our second day inside of Yosemite Park, and we got lucky again. Last year, we uh, waited and waited for Tioga Pass to open that comes into Yosemite Park, and we just happened to be in the area for the one day they opened it to cyclists. Well, this year, we are um, also looking at Glacier Point Road. We'll come again. We're here, and they've opened it up for just cyclists. So we're super excited. It's a tough ride. It's 15 miles to the top. Um, it's an out and back 15 miles so 30 miles all together about 3,000 feet of climbing um, the grades look really good though they don't look six seven eight percent the whole way so we should have fun we met a couple um, two campsites down from us and they're gonna ride with us so <laughs> we're gonna make a great day out of it we'll show you all the sites along the way bye the back side of Half Dome here. Spectacular. Oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. Washburn Point. We're almost at Glacier Point, but we had to stop and look at this tremendous view. It's just jaw-dropping. We've got Half Dome in the foreground. Then we've got Nevada Falls and Bernal Falls down below. I mean, it just doesn't get much better than this. There's a lot of wows over here. <laughs> <laughs> there are. It's pretty cool. Wow, so we made it up to Glacier Point and we're all just um, stunned really with the beauty of this place. It is probably my favorite ride so far in my life. So upper and lower, upper and lower Yosemite Falls. There's the valley floor. But I am a fan, I am a fan. Oh my gosh, half dome. What do you think, hon? Oh, this is amazing. 
So much better than the Tioga Pass one that we did I've last year. I've never seen anything. Jaw dropping, stunning, magnificent. Well, we've spent about a half an hour up here at Glacier Point and I just don't want to leave, but we do have 15 miles to ride back with a couple of good climbs. So we better get on the road, but this place is just spectacular. She is. Happy girl. Oh my gosh. That was my favorite ride ever. Was that amazing or what? Oh my gosh. So we got what, 31 miles, 3,400 feet of climbing. Um, so if you are in cycling shape, do this ride. Um, if you're not in cycling shape, rent an e-bike because it's totally worth it. The, the road quality is amazing. The only thing is it's hard to predict when uh, Glacier Point Road's gonna open. The National Park website has information and it's updated every Friday, but they open it to cyclists every year right before they open it to motorists. So tomorrow it's open to cars. So we had the whole road to ourselves. And the, how about that view oh at the God, end? The views, oh. I mean, they're just breathtaking. So you're up above the valley. Oh my gosh, I can't, I didn't wanna leave. So anyway, Done. <laughs> Good job. Coming down from Glacier Point, we were treated to the spectacular view at a place called Tunnel View. Good morning. It is our last day here at Yosemite. Um, we've had a really spectacular week. Um, doing all kinds of things, looking at all kinds of beautiful things. <laughs> um, so we're gonna take it easy today. We're gonna go for a four mile hike out to Carlin Falls. We've done this hike before and it's really nice. It goes along the side of the South Tuolumne, South Fork of the Tuolumne. And it's kind of flat along the river and then it kind of goes up a little bit at the end where the falls are. bottom of Carlin Falls and gosh there's a whole lot of water <laughs> we thought last year was a ton of water but we did get a pretty good winter worth of rain here in California so now we can see there's God, just about as much water as last year the waterfall. Wow. The mist off the waterfall feels so good. <laughs> Not good.
wrapping up a great week in Yosemite, we headed over to the lodge to have happy hour with our new friends, Ron and Heather. Well, it's our last night Cheers. in Yosemite. Been great, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a really nice week here. Having a little pinot on the porch. <laughs> pinot on the porch. <laughs> Waiting for uh, Ron and Heather to come. We're going to do our last little happy hour and enjoy our little spot. We are in Yosemite. <laughs> we, uh, s never mind. Cut. Did we do? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> the right, the right side boob is quarter dome, and then you go ah. down and across, and then come up oh. half dome. So, so the cables are seeing, directly on the other side, yeah, so right? Like it's in that, it's the crevasse, if you will. Yeah. In, in the cleavage. If, if you climb up the cleavage, it would go down. <laughs> I'm really into boobs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad there's no views out here. <laughs> right? Cheers! Yeah. Woo! We're trying to monetize this cheer thing. <laughs> that was worth at least a penny. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to catch the next Sterling Adventure. Steady these bones. Steady